Good day, collective. This is a general healing and ascension message for... Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, North Node, okay? This could be your placement or you could be dealing with one. Just remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. Use this message for your highest and greatest good only. Personal readings are available. The link is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you are enjoying healing vibes from my platforms, I do have a members only for $4.99 a month. So Aries, what do you most need to know about spiritual warfare right now for your highest and greatest good? Aries Collective or those dealing with, okay. What does that mean? What was that about? Hold on a second. Oh, shit. Okay, Aries, collective, you, somebody you communicated with, connected to or something, it's about to be on some real fifth element type of uh, things. So please make sure you are utilizing prayers and affirmations, okay? You may want to uh, slow down on your marijuana usage, Aries. If you're a low vibrational Aries, you're going to have blockages in your relationships and in your finances, your root chakra, how you feel about material things. It's go it's you go be in tears every time you got to pay a bill cuz you're not going to have the money for it, okay? So once again, please utilize prayers and affirmations. Speak what you are wanting to manifest, Aries Collective. You very well could have uh, some people that wanted you to manifest low vibrational situations for yourself. They could have did candle magic and was praying on you and your relationships, your feminine energy, your emotions. The people that you talk to or it could be just a group of people that's connected to one of your family members. They talk a lot. They have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and somebody knows that someone else is mentally unstable and overall low vibrational. So Aries, whether you are the karmic or your friends are karmic, your ancestors are, are trying to support you so that you don't fall into codependency or low vibrational coping mechanisms, okay? And you also have a narcissist at work. Parts of your shadow self, demons, quote unquote, are going to be revealed to you. And that's when it's a time for you to go into your, start talking to your ancestors. Don't talk shit about these people. You need to just go to your ancestors and be talking to them right now. Okay? Spiritual warfare for my Aries collective. Yes, yeah, a low vibrational uh, energy, male, female, that's currently possibly trying to travel or thinking about traveling, trying to get the money to travel to somebody. Somebody wants to have like a long distance relationship. Somebody's been talking. I don't think love spells were involved, but how they manifested this person was, it was out of a lack mindset or mentality. It was because of a loss of some sort. So, kind of like a rebound energy. What's this prayer affirmation? Spiritual warfare for the Aries Collective or those dealing with? 
Yeah, prayers and affirmations are going to make changes in your life. You have to remember that prayers and affirmations and chants reciting those words induces change in your subconscious mind okay your ancestors and high vibrational deities want to support your spiritual development and assist you in your daily life when it comes to the material and spiritual realm when it comes to you understanding communication from guides and communication from entities somebody is in spiritual court right now gemini energy this could be a family member or a friend of y'all's They manifested something. What's the sacral chakra energy? Yeah, courthouse again. Somebody's manifested either a contract or actual legal situation collective, either with your energy through spell work. Oh, and now someone's trying to pray that this situation changes. I do know sex rituals and um, what have you has been occurring, Divine Feminine. Somebody's been trying to wrap your energy up. Because you are spiritually gifted. They've been doing uh, sex magic on you. Just know that that person is in spiritual jail. And probably go make their way to physical jail. And if they've been doing police stay away from me candles. They done spent all their money on it. And it still is not going to work in their favor. What's the candle magic energy? Yeah, they're concerned. They tried to do police stay away from me candles because they're about to go to court. It's about to be changes in a person's transportation. There's a masculine energy concern about some changes. Because he took the pathway to do some type of spell work, whether it was word of mouth, gossip, or something like that collective with you and a group of people and this person is about to have like a near death experience he's gonna come across a karmic male and female that's gonna basically try to take his ass up out of there but he's covered in a spiritual judgment energy this is part of his destiny actually yeah with the journey right here so the things that he used to do for money he's already expecting basically karma well what else does the Aries collective need to know about prayers and affirmations with the change Aries Collective, you're going to find out somebody really backstabbed and betrayed you really, really, really bad. And it's been impacting your stability. You could have had sex with that person or this person is like just, uh, they take quick action to sleep with you. I don't know. If you've been praying for change in your life, but you had sex with somebody low vibrational, you definitely need to be utilizing some candle magic for healing and uh, protection and asking your ancestors to support you right now okay and whoever was doing sex magic on y'all collective could have been a male Sagittarius <laughs> he's concerned now because he didn't know that you were actually an empress and a hermit so whatever type of manifestation with this contract energy because courthouse also is a representation of contracts that Sagittarius is now very very concerned and stressed out because it attracted the police to him so he very well could be trying to listen to his intuition to try to get some type of guidance away and far away okay What does the Aries Collective need to know about this? Prayer, affirmations, and change. Prayers, affirmations, and change. Spiritual warfare. If you already have been praying, it's going to be changes. If you feel like the, it's been so much manipulation or you're wondering if you're self-sabotaging your success, no, it's going to be changes. People wanted you to self-sabotage your success, but you didn't. You have victory going into this courthouse energy, and that's why they're concerned. Somebody did try to do manipulation candles on a contract that's for you. 
your divine feminine, whoever's been doing sex manipulation on you, they're using pictures off of your social media. It's a hollow victory even if they go and talk to somebody and tell them what they did. But somebody done told or text or message this information that got to somebody that um, is they're not low vibrational they are subsequent to this courthouse energy what's the sacral chakra courthouse <clears throat> yeah ace of pentacles spiritual warfare wise y'all whatever steps you need to move forward it's going to come to you you just have to balance your divine feminine energy it's low vibrational masculine energies that are utilizing your energy your skills your talents your work divine feminine to manipulate your recognition you're working for something it's not approval or praise you're just working silently and these individuals wait until they feel like you've let go or you're waiting for something and they try to move you in a direction that makes you more empathetic towards them when at the end of the day they're really karmics they're the devil king of wands knight of wands and you already wrapped up that those cycles in your life so divine feminine you have some energies that are wanting to come towards you come towards your way with the three of wands but they're the knight of wands with the devil card and this king of wands came over here you've wrapped up a cycle with another fire sign picking up leo or it's a leo placement this person wants to have sex with you to harvest your gifts they don't want a relationship they end up in a situation where they were calling on their ancestors for success but it was they weren't paying respect to their ancestors they would just accept the blessing and then keep right on moving and the ancestors is like yeah okay you left us after we bless you and now you sick now you trying to meditate now you trying to ask us to come help you heal but you ain't even paid us like any respect for what we've done for you already and that's the truth it's the source right there so that's that conflict energy with this two of swords it's a lot of heartbreak and loss amongst karmic communities especially individuals that use magic to get forward movement in life and i'm not talking about earth magic i'm talking about the ridiculousness type of stuff the knight of wands four of pentacles type of magic candle magic and concern yeah them it's been a lot of arguments and conflicts for whoever has been praying on your success and your progress because they've been doing it for a long time the plan was to do it until you pass away or until someone was ready to like call it quits themselves but they're someone's realizing that was an illusion it was an illusion that they could this plan would actually be successful so it's a lot of concern i feel like there's also going to be exposure of a plan yeah it's going to be exposure of a plan divine feminine somebody has been planning against you with other people they talked about it at a gathering recently with an aries that same aries individual like i said could be a masculine he's a high priestess and he knows the truth if this is you masculine and you're in your feminine energy you've been praying to your ancestors yes you are in your emperor energy as well i feel like whatever you're concerned about spiritual warfare you don't even need to be concerned about it to be honest somebody's trying to play tricks on you yeah somebody's trying to play tricks on you what's the candle magic and concern this could be a co-worker of yours this could be somebody that you know uh participates in a vital role when it came to our argument on social media with a virgo as well what's the concern mm -hmm. childhood friend whoever this virgo energy is is all work no play right now they're at a standstill aries okay this person is at a standstill so the problem that you're wanting to attack 
just keep protecting yourself and going into introspection the spiritual enlightenment that you're getting is taking you to higher ground keep practicing self-care and self-love whatever you're wishing for you will have okay but you have a low vibrational karmic masculine energy that is wanting to come towards you real passionately okay he want to take your ass up out of there aries okay so that's the spiritual warfare whether you're a masculine or a feminine just know you have karmic energies that want to come towards you because they feel like they don't have anything else to do before their final karma hits what was the lesson for the recent past for my aries collective the adversity challenges things that you've been going through in the past that could have left you sad down depressed missing opportunities or in a regretful energy some of you have intentionally went within to look at the positive sides of your situations what was the lesson for the for the recent past It could be your energy collective confidence maybe for some of you y'all lessons was to learn about how low how toxic low vibrational people are and it's like y'all be making plans with these people knowing that they're broken hearted some of these people are broken hearted from their parents they haven't been healing and forgiving their parents at all and it's like y'all know this so some of y'all in the recent past you you came across yourself in a very low vibration and something happened that now somebody kind of want to put the blame of isolation why they're being isolated a lot of toxic energy is being exposed aries collective it could be to you about other individuals to you about yourself or about you to other people to be honest as well your lesson in the recent past was to learn how to go within and isolate without putting the blame of it being because of any type of situation. It was for you to rebuild your confidence and your power and for you to establish energetic boundaries. Recent past. What's the present lesson? What's the present lesson? Stability and being responsible with the two of pentacles. Present lesson is about juggling. But with a balance. And most importantly, your responsibilities. Not worried about what's, what a low vibrational karmic ass police detectives, lawyers, attorneys are invested in. Right now, y'all supposed to be focused on yourselves, okay? What else with this two of pentacles? Present lesson. Healthy choices and decisions. Choices. Lovers. Making a choice and decision. <clears throat> Present lesson. Some people are also learning how to balance tarot in their own healing journey as well when it comes to love and relationships and money and finances taking a leap of faith y'all are presently in the energy of new opportunities financially and in love that's the lesson that y'all are learning presently mm -hmm. you got the seven of cups options and choices somebody's presently learning about balance and i guess illusions and what they use for escapism yeah, make sure y'all are not being low vibrational karmic using sex, drugs, and alcohol and pharmaceuticals to try to get away. And then, like, try to manifest a new beginning because it's going to be full of entities or a major entity that's never going to let up on you. And you're always going to be in a karmic energy. Always. You're going to forever feel like walking away towards anybody that comes towards you. You go literally become a ghost. What's the near future lesson? Teamwork and collaboration with that Three of Pentacles. Someone could want to collaborate with you.
you defending yourself and releasing anxiety and paranoia you making it out of the dark night of the soul successfully practicing self-care and self-love yeah you manifest in a new relationship somebody wanted to try to um have you manifest a relationship with somebody money hungry power hungry greedy have poor health they're manipulative and now whoever wanted that for you yeah because you're the empress they wanted that for you this could also be a mother figure or a child's mother divine feminine if you know you're high vibrational and you're going through situations like this somebody wanted you to manifest a situation where it real real unhealthy and unstable will of fortune is still in going in your favor so make sure you just remain confident especially when you take your isolation periods karmic masculines the more they watch you the more unbalanced and ungrounded they feel and they end up leaving they want to be toxic towards you because you're a twin flame but you speak the truth you don't glorify third party situations and you know how they misuse and abuse meditation so in the near future somebody's gonna really really feel extra 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 defeated because you're protected if you're a masculine you have feminine ancestors protecting you divine feminine vice versa but with that queen of pentacles that's that was an ancestor energy so ancestors stay offense karma messages what does aries need to know about karma for their highest and greatest good what does the aries collective most need to know about karma at this time aries you could be dealing with um mother issues how you were raised, what type of leader she raised you to be. Maybe she worked a lot. If you're dealing with a cancer, listen to your intuition. Because this person is about to experience endings in their own life, transformations and rebirths. Because now they have to demonstrate um, some type of idea that they had. The universe is going to make this person do what they wanted to do. I don't know if it's good or bad, but hey. And it could be involving an Aquarius. Aquarius energy. Aquarius could be in karma this week. We have Aries. That's you all's energy. Make sure your vision and your willpower, when you discover something, what you think you know about desires, somebody's about to meet. A, they're, ooh, somebody about to meet like a challenge or a balance of some sort. But we have Libra energy eighth house major changes and with the north node so aries energy y'all or whoever y'all are connected with if you're operating out of your north node you're going to have positive results when it comes to karma in general when it comes to your resources your communication and how ambitious you are staying no matter how limited you may feel a karma could be getting karma a karmic is definitely getting karma. This Libra is a 12th house enemy. This Libra can be connected to a Cancer or those are both just significant placements or they may be connected to that Virgo that I mentioned earlier. But y'all, operate out of y'all North Node. That's how you get success, okay? Somebody wanted to use other people's resources. Aries could be yours, justice system and spirituality type of energy but they wanted to use it for war so you just operate out of your north node if you were dealing with a low vibrational um aquarius they're gonna get some type of karma when it comes to their romance or even possibly a situation with children a libra is gonna get karma when it comes to resources and what they do for power because they operate out of the south node okay what yeah thief this libra is a thief or libras relationships partners yeah they're expecting something though 
they thought they were going to get a wealthy man. Oh, this Libra is in for it. The community is about to make some major changes. But this community, Aries, I feel like they are seeing you be honest and strong in some shape, form, or fashion. You're doing things your own way despite this Aquarius energy or despite somebody else's vision for you. Hmm. You have more faith in you than somebody else did, Aries. What's this Aquarius energy? You got despair. Somebody's going to be in despair. Either an Aquarius or a placement. Or a child. Or the child isn't going to be in despair, but somebody is. What about this Aries energy? You got bad health. What's the Libra in? Oof, it's about to be the ending to somebody's reputation and they know it they know it yeah you got the change card and expectation coughing and occupation again with poverty i just sat here doing this with these cards did i not okay what's the karma with this libra energy it's coming distant horizons what does the aries collective need to know about karma when it comes to the fifth house what have they created what is aries created contract and legal situations but like i said it's something to do with your faith if you took a, a gamble of some sort if you happen to end up go to court just be honest that's what you have to do be honest don't worry about who's being two-faced or lying in a situation it's very important for y'all to be operating out of y'all north node. I'm I'm so serious about that. What's this north note? Yeah, look, adjudication. Because if you a spiritual judge and you operating out of a karmic energy, that's no. The devil go use you um a lot, lot, real, real bad. Somebody might be getting the message that they find it out that they actually have been letting the devil use them and they were calling it personal power love no i just share energy with such and such whole time such and such energy is this shit right here they connected to a whole bunch of different people that these energies don't even know about they just was concerned about money and how to get it they weren't thinking about how none of this was going to end up in the ancestral court or family court or none of that proof Ooh. It's some type of evidence that's going to be brought up in family court. What's the eighth house? And then you got house. Major changes and housing situations. Aries, overall, this energy when it comes to karma is concern, despair, balance in the near horizons, though. Changes when it comes to your personal power with how you take care of yourself and the things that you create operate from your north node you're going to have positive major changes and you really need to trust in your faith like a baby trusts their parents yeah and then let's get a healing mantra Healing mantra for my Aries collective. Healing mantra for my Aries collective. For those dealing with. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Your intuition flows whenever you sit still. So y'all need to take time to hear the inner guidance that's within you. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.